Men know if they hurry up and just throw a number at you, and if you if you broke, if it's a short month, them bills is low, you is liable to go ahead and say yes. Mm -hmm. Worst thing you could do, say yes to a small amount. And then you realize after you got fucked and probably not nutted. It wasn't worth it. Little that little you little. still was short mm -hmm. on some of your things. And then you got to be unhappy with the sexual experience, unhappy with the pay, <laughs> and then you can't even go do all the stuff you want to do. Yeah. That's stupid. At least if the sex ain't going to be good and you don't really like the nigga, at least be happy in some form. Make sure that when you do your pussy contract, you know, when he say he want to buy some pussy or he just want to know, you know, how, what I got to do. And what they say now. They say, it's, we know we got to pay for it. Don't just tell us directly. I want to learn that. I say, oh, but how do we know? Because sometimes I know men, I know this, y'all be careful because men say, why we got to do it beforehand? They're crazy. They'll yeah, trick y'all and like, get the why? pussy out of y'all, then don't pay y'all. My so mother, nice. one thing she didn't teach me a lot, but one thing she did teach me, because she used to sell pussy too. She the one who, who taught me how to, you know, do this thing, this little girl. I was about seven or eight, I'll never forget. She had just got done getting um a, a John head, ran off on her. She was upset. And she came back, she said, you always make sure you make these niggas pay first. Okay, like a gas station, make them pay before they pump. That shit has stuck, and this is a real story. That shit has stuck with me since I was fucking. My me. mom always told me, you make them motherfuckers pay before they pump. I said, that man must really, I didn't know at that time, <laughs> but later on, he must have really heard. Oh <laughs> <laughs> Red you laughing so. He must have really heard But no. So when you get your, when men be like, what I need, what you want, <clears throat> you have to go sit down and say, okay, rent is this. Car no gas for the month. Because you won't think about some horrible dick or some paid dick, especially if it was horrible. And then you got to say, oh, I need a trip or a massage day or something for myself. The kids need a pair of shoes. All that stuff needs to be in there. So that way, when you get done fucking and giving him all you got, which is your pussy, you can go ahead and take all your shit. There's no need to have been fucked and got fucked. And then the worst thing you do, can't take care of your shit can't the next day. Can't take care of shit. Can't take care of your shit the next day. But, and, and I really truly do feel like that. I be offended. Even when men be like, oh, you know, try to that 5,000 stuff like that. I can't do that. Because that wouldn't even cover, you know, my expenses. So I will feel less than of having a transactional. And then I say, oh, you trying to be? Yes, because you the one made a transaction when you said let's exchange goods. Mm -hmm. And no dick is not the conversation. I could really do without the dick. Mm -hmm. But I want some, the other part. And I know that that part come with dick. It's like go hand in hand. You can't get one without the other. If we could, we all have our pussies in mm -hmm. our pockets. But we know that we can't get shit from y'all else unless we get it. So it's the best to just soak everything out that you can. Soak his ass or dry. And then after you get done soaking the dry, you slurp a little bit more. Mm -hmm. And then you give the pussy. Listen, they looking like, oh, never. I